All right, guys, we got something super special on the channel again for you. I cannot wait to show you the coolest features of this right here. This is the Lincoln Star concept. This completely see-through down where the frunk is all the way to the first row. Now, this car right here is going to inspire future electric cars from Lincoln. So in a few years time, we're gonna have a few different fully electric Lincoln models on the market. And some of these design features we're actually gonna see. So this is really exciting. This is actually coming to the roads. So let me show you around. Over here, as we go down the side of the car, instead of having chrome accents like we're used to on cars, they've actually replaced it with light accents. So that's quite cool, isn't it? And then you've got the Lincoln logo here on the side, which is also lit up. Instead of it being like a, a chrome badge on the side, it is now lights, which is so cool. And the other cool thing is my hair matches the car. I mean, come on, did I plan that or what? I didn't. And now I actually know the name of my hair color because I never knew. I just said purple, it's actually amethyst. Who knew the color of this car? It's called amethyst. So we've got another light feature here and you're gonna notice this all throughout the car. This is a 3D printed pillar. Look at this, and you can see straight through it. So again, on every single bit of design, they're thinking, right, how can we make this more airy? So they 3D printed it and you can actually see through the pillar. I've never seen that before in my life. That is quite cool. Also on the A pillar round here, you've got the 3D that you see straight through into the car. Do you see that? I just think that looks really pretty. All right, now around the back, you gotta see what happens here. Now there's something really quite special that goes on. Say you're at a car event and you pull up with your car. You either have to get fully out, get some like lawn chairs, set them up by your car, and it doesn't really look that great. It's not all, it's also not that comfortable. So what they're doing is they've turned the car into a seat. So when the car is stationary, this glass panel lifts up and then the back, you see this panel here going all the way across the back, it flips over and it reveals a chair. So if you come see this in here, there is just no way you would think that this turns into a chair. This dark panel down there, if you can see, that then becomes your backrest. You've got a lot of moving parts on this car and, and cool ideas that I've never really seen before. You guys know I love my wheels and I like them big. <laughs> I've got 24 inches on my cars as well. This 24 inch right here. And doesn't it make the car look so, oh no, just like I'm here, I've arrived. Do you know what I mean? So I really hope that they're coming out with cars with 24 inch standard wheels. That'd be sick. Not sure it's gonna happen, but I'd like it. All right, we gotta see how this opens up. Look at this, ready? I'm gonna push on the Lincoln logo. Here we go, watch. Who doesn't love center opening doors? Everyone loves this. This is so free. Look how spacious this is. The whole car has just opened up. These are called coach doors and I would love to see it in future models. Okay, Lincoln, take note. Coach doors, tick, done. <laughs> what is this, right? Okay, the whole back space is meant to be for relaxing. So you can't relax if you got your laptop with you. You push this, this comes out this is your digital laptop holder. So you put your laptop in here or your tablet in here and this case will actually charge it while it's in this case. So you pop your stuff in here, right? That goes in, done, locks. And then all of the stuff on your laptop is then projected onto the screens here remotely so you can just get rid of your laptop you're not having it floating around in the back seat and you've got everything here now this is the first time we're seeing the interior what do you reckon 
It's quite, like, they're using a lot of different materials that we've not seen before. Everything you see here at the front is in white for function. Everything here in the back where you see the amethyst, this is for relaxation and rejuvenation. So they wanted to make that separation quite clear. You can even see it on the floor here. Look, this is a different color to the white in front. Interestingly enough, this whole car was designed around this seat. This seat came first. How do we want the passenger to feel when they're in this car? You know, what kind of position are they in, posture, uh, relaxation? And then the whole car was designed around it, which is kind of crazy. I've never heard that before. Now watch this. Wee -hee. I have a footrest, plenty of room here. Love this. And then we've got a footrest over here. Okay, I'm just going to retract this. All right, more hidden compartments, watch. This is for your slippers. So you don't have to have your dirty shoes in the car on. You just pop them off and put them in this slipper drawer. Never seen that before either. That's quite cool. Pop that back in. There we go. And of course, when you're in a luxury car, you want a chiller for your drinks, right? So that's what you've got here and your champagne glasses. And again, it's all see-through, which is quite nice. And if you see right here, there's the number 100. Why? Because Lincoln is celebrating 100 years. Now, if you haven't yet seen my previous video, I did another crazy concept car with Lincoln. You have to go check that out. The link to that video is in the description. All right, so you've got to see that one. That is crazy as well. It's called the Lincoln Model L100. Again, space, light, it's everywhere. All of this is open as well, all through the back the roof, the front, down the front here, from the front, everything is open. Now, what they would like to do is create this kind of extra space for you to live in. So say you have an extra living room in your house, this would be your extra living room where you actually come in here and you enjoy the space, not just get from A to B. So what they've done here is they've got three different modes. You've got coastal morning, mindful vitality and evening chill and when you press on that what will happen is the whole car will light up in a different way okay good time for me to show you the front i'll show you what happens when you press one of these Ooh, first time i'm sitting in the front oh man at the moment, it's on coastal morning. And what happens is when you change, for example, to evening chill, then your display will change with it. Okay, so there you go, you got evening chill. And it flows, this screen flows all the way down into this screen and then onto the back screens as well. So there's this kind of digital flow throughout the whole car. Also, your digital sense will change, so you'll smell different things and the lighting will change. So it's a whole different experience between each of those modes. You got more things happening over here. <laughs> Who knew that was there? 100 years, see? It's been around since 1922, Lincoln. So this table is just for a quick practical purpose. When you've got the car in park, then you can grab your laptop out of the door, you can place it here, do a little bit of work and then put it back into the door. Now let's just retract this again. So I can show you what's going on down here. Look, have you ever seen pedals like this before? Again, transparent. How cool is that? Never seen that before. And again, it kind of complements the white floor as well. This is all sustainable material. They're playing with a lot of different materials that we're gonna see in their electric cars coming out in the next few years. You've also got this uh, kind of crystal detailing here as well on the mode selector, all right? Again, here, all of these little details. I mean, this could have just been black. It could have been 
it could have been metal, it could have been anything, but they went for transparent just to keep with this theme. It's just so bright in here because of course you've got the light coming in from the frunk and it flows all the way down the front of the car here and into the actual cabin. What do you guys think so far? Pop a comment underneath the video, just let me know your thoughts. You've even got a transparent top to the steering wheel. So you haven't got this in your way while you're driving. And as you see here, or you might see it better on your side, you can see out of the pillars as well. All right, now one more thing to show you around the front. Because it's an electric car, you don't have the engine here taking up space, so you can put luggage in here. So what this space does is this whole front glass panel will open up and then you've got a luggage drawer that comes all the way out so you can easily place the luggage in the drawer and then it retracts back into the car. Now when you're parked you obviously don't want people to see what's in your car right otherwise <laughs> yeah you might be a magnet for people to come and take your stuff. So what they've done is when you're in park this whole area will black out so you won't be able to see what is in the actual front. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you like this preview of the car. By the way, this is the very first time it's on display ever. It was on display briefly in April, but the interior and everything else now is fully done and it's the first time that we're actually seeing it up close and in detail. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you. Look at this. This, again, lights. It's backlit. Let's just uh, turn them off here. There you go, look, panel, normal door panel, turn them on. Lights! What else are they gonna think of? Massive thank you to Lincoln for showing us around the star concept. Make sure you like the vid so we can keep doing these incredible things, finding the craziest cars all over the world. Subscribe to the channel. Love you guys, we're out.